Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Elden Ring, this is another uh, half section. So it'll be kind of random uh, stuff that I uh, recorded while I was playing uh, by myself, not in a live stream. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start uh, testing out spirits, the uh, summoning spirits. And uh, here we are in some catacombs. This was at the end of the uh, river, I think. And we'll try summoning the uh, jellyfish. And we are fighting this uh, gladiator looking guy. And uh, the jellyfish does poison damage. I was surprised to see that, so that's perfect for this poison Argo build. Unfortunately, the catacombs are kind of disappointing. They're very small. <laughs> they look cool, but they're small. I love the uh, chalice dungeons uh, from Bloodborne. Random fireball there. Uh, but yeah, I want to test out a lot of spirits and see what I like uh, before I uh, start leveling anybody. Because I don't know how um, rare those uh, leveling materials are. Uh, but I did go to the wiki and I looked up uh, which uh, spirits use poison. I think there's three or four, so I might want to focus on them. And this is setting up uh, easy backstabs, having this kind of um, decoy. But cool boss. <laughs> Looks cool, has cool animations. And uh, yeah, still using the, uh, the poison uh, Ash of War on my uh, short spear here. Okay, there goes that boss. And we got another summon. Ingleval. I looked him up. He looks uh, pretty good too. Very tanky. Uh, but unfortunately he's going to cast more FP to cast than I will probably get with this build. So I guess we'll pass on him. Okay, here. These are some uh, flowers that I saw on the side of the road in uh, Limgrave. I passed them before, but we'll try uh, fighting them now. And we'll summon skeletons this time. I think I got this skeleton summon from beating the um, the guy in the boat. <laughs> and then I'm wearing uh, Patch's armor, the leather armor, uh, because I killed him. <laughs> in all of the other Souls games, I uh, let him live. But in this game, he was annoying because he was attacking me. Uh, but also, he uh, drops a spear plus seven which is going to be a higher uh, kind of level than anything else that I have at the moment, so I decided to kill him. <laughs> uh, but everything that he sells as a shopkeeper, we can uh, buy that other places if we uh, turn in his uh, stone, so... Yeah, no big loss there. Okay, my skeletons are still going. These skeletons are fun, too. They're not very fast or damaging, but yeah. <laughs> nope, I think that's it for them, unless they revive. Uh, no, I think they're gone, okay. <laughs> uh, fighting these flower guys, I was hoping to uh, get the, uh, the flower summon. Uh, but I'm not going to get that here. So I looked that up, that was in the, uh, the catacombs in Kaled, and I actually went and I got those, so... Yeah, that might be better than the jellyfish, but I'll try it out. Oh, and I'm putting my uh, face in this video, just because I can. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put my face in the live streams, because that would be more uh, complex, complicated. Uh, the way that I'm doing it right now, I'm just plugging in uh, this microphone here into the uh, PlayStation, and it's very easy to do. Uh, here, we'll wait for the uh, poison to go away. And I've been using the uh, Halberd a lot more lately. 
I really like the uh, the short spear again with the uh, the poison infusion, but yeah, the big sweeping attacks with the halberd is nice. Okay, I think that'll do it for the flower. All right. <laughs> I was wondering if that was a, a one-time boss, but no, it regenerates. Uh, we got some dried meat, I think. And uh, Miranda powder, it said. And then, also in these ruins, I found a basement. So let's go in here. Okay, we got a boss door. And then let's summon skeletons again. Yeah, I have the um, the knight guy highlighted, but again, I don't have enough LP to summon him. And here's another pumpkin head. In the uh, live stream last night, I fought one on the bridge for the first time. Wasn't too bad. All right, when we get a chance, we'll summon these skeletons. All right. All right, there they go. <laughs> oh, but the uh, spear that I got off of uh, Patches, it needs 15 dexterity. I'm at 13 right now, I think so. I might want to raise a couple levels there. But I should think about raising the um, arcane for the poison damage. Oh, backstab. Alright, we'll let the uh, skeleton finish him off. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So this actually gives me confidence to play the uh, the double pumpkin head boss in uh, Kalid, the uh, the bo basement in Kalid. So maybe I'll go back to that and uh, play that. And we got a save point. That's cool. And let's see what's in here. Treasure. No, it's a person. <laughs> Looks like a uh, wizard with all of the uh, crystals lying around. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Got a very large uh, mask, I guess. <laughs> okay, we'll say that we want to learn sorceries, although I don't really. If anything, I'll be learning uh, incantations with this build. Nurture will defy nature with a bit of luck. Uh, but yeah, poison and stuff, those will also be under uh, incantations, so... exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch, do you still wish to learn from me? Alright, she says she's outcast from the school. Do I still want to learn from her? I say yes. <laughs> well, you are Actually, I might be better off just well. killing her. <laughs> Seeing if she uh, drops anything interesting. I refuse to coddle. Because I'm never going to buy sorceries from her, I'm sure. Yeah, we got some uh, bolts. Magic shield? Magic shield might be interesting. But I'll see if there's other ways that I can uh, buff up my shield. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Uh, we're entering the week, so I'll start doing live streams uh, at uh, night in Japan time. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.